In this video, I'm going to teach you the Euclidean algorithm. The Euclidean algorithm is also known as Euclid's algorithm, and it's used to find the greatest common divisor, or GCD. Just for a review, the greatest common divisor is the largest integer that will divide your two integers evenly with no remainder. So, for example, the GCD of 6 and 9 is 3, because 3 is the largest integer that will divide both 6 and 9 evenly. The GCD of 5 and 15 is 5. And the GCD of 8 and 27 is 1, because 1 is the largest integer that will divide both 8 and 27 evenly. Now, back in high school or junior high, you were probably taught to use something called prime factorization. Prime factorization to find the GCD. Well, let me show you a much better way. Well, first, let, let's, let's review what prime factorization is. So, if, if we wanted to find the GCD of something like 42 and 51, you were probably taught something like this, where you break down 42 to 2 and 21, then you break 21 down to 3 and 7. This is called prime factorization, where you break it down to its prime numbers. And then you break 51 down to 3 and 17. And because the, the two threes overlap here, this three and this three overlap, your GCD is three, okay? This is what you were probably taught to do in high school or junior high. But I'm here to tell you that this is a very slow and tedious way to do it. Prime factorization is very slow and tedious. So that's where the Euclidean algorithm comes in. And let me show you how it works. Okay. Um, first, let's, let's review what the mod operator is. Mod stands for modulo. Okay. And it just means to take the remainder. So if I say 23 mod 7, what I'm asking is, if you divide 23 by 7, you get some value here, say 3, and a remainder. So that remainder is 2, right? 23 divided by 7 is 3, remainder 2. And it's this 2 that we're interested in. So 2 would be the answer. Okay, so likewise, uh, 11 mod 8 is 3, because if you divide 11 by 8, you get a remainder of 3. Um, 10 mod uh, 2 would be 0, because if you divide 10 by 2, uh, you have no remainder. Okay? So, let's get on with the Euclidean algorithm. If I wanted to find the GCD of 42 and 51, what I do is I write the larger number first. So I write 51 off to the left. And then to the right of that, I write 42. And I ask myself, what's 51 mod 42? Well, 51 mod 42 is 9 because if you divide 51 by 42, you get a remainder of 9. So you write 9 to the right here. And then you ask yourself again, what's 42 mod 9? Well, 42 mod 9 is 6, so you write 6 to the right. And then you ask yourself, what's 9 mod 6? 9 mod 6 is 3, so you write 3 here. And then you ask yourself, what's 6 mod 3? 
Well, 6 mod 3 is 0 because 6 divided by 3 gives you no remainder. So once you hit 0, you're done, and the number right before 0 is your answer. So your answer is 3. Okay? Now let's try another one. What's the GCD of 121 and 187? Okay, so we write the larger number first, so 187, then we write the smaller number next to it, 121, and we ask ourselves, what's 187 mod 121? Well, it's 66. What's 121 mod 66? It's 55. What's 66 mod 55? It's 11. And what's 55 mod 11? It's 0. So when we hit 0, we're done, and the number right before 0 is our answer. So the answer is 11. Now, let's try a tough one. GCD of 4,277 and 4,823. So you write 4,823 first and then you write 4,277 and you ask yourself, what's 4,823 mod 4,277? Well, it happens to be 546, but you can compute this on your own. Um, it's quite easy to compute. What's 4,277 mod 546? It's 455. What's 546 mod 455? It's 91. And what's 455 mod 91? It's 0. So our answer is 91. And for a number like this, you do not want to be doing prime factorization. It is very tedious and very slow, okay? So, do not use prime factorization for GCD, okay? Oh, and if you're wondering why we need to learn the Euclidean algorithm, um, it's because the Euclidean algorithm has a big brother called the extended Euclidean algorithm. And so the Euclidean algorithm's big brother is called the extended Euclidean algorithm. And this is used in the AES encryption algorithm. But before we can learn the extended Euclidean algorithm, we had to learn the Euclidean algorithm.